Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad first round 2022-2033 Problem number 2 We wish to find all the real numbers a, b and c satisfying the following system of equations b squared plus 4bc plus c squared equals 1 c squared plus 4ca plus a squared equals minus 2 a squared plus 4ab plus b squared equals 1 one and there should be a dot right here. All right, so here are my hints for this uh, problem. Uh, first hint add everything to together and use the well known formula that x plus y plus z squared can be expanded in this way. Express b in terms of a and c and use the first and the third equation to express c in terms of a. We'll give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so let's tackle this problem. So let's take this system of equations and let's add everything together. And we will have what? We will have 2a squared, we will have 2b squared, 2c squared, 4bc, 4ca, 4ab, and on the right hand side we will have just 0. Which is good news, because now we can divide by 2, so we have a squared, b squared, c squared, 2bc, 2ca, 2ab equals 0. And now, this entire expression on the left hand side can be reduced to a plus b plus c squared equals 0. After taking square root, a plus b plus c equals 0, and we get that b equals minus a minus c. All right, and let's remember that. And now what I wish to do is to take just the first and the, and the last equation. So let's rewrite them. We have b squared plus 4bc plus c squared equals 1. And we have also a squared plus 4ab plus b squared is also equal 1. And what I will do now, I will take these equations and I will actually subtract them. So I have, let's take a look, b squared minus b squared is 0. So we have c squared minus a squared plus 4bc minus 4ab. 1 minus 1 is 0. All right. And now let's put, let's write it like that. It's c minus a. Or you know what? No, no, no. Let's do, let's leave c squared minus a squared as it is. And now here I have b and here I have b. Instead of b, we can put minus a minus c. So let's put 4a plus c, c plus 4a, a plus c. All right. c squared minus a squared minus 4ca minus 4c squared plus 4a squared plus 4ca equals 0. And now a bunch of cancellations are possible. First, minus 4ac plus 4ac cancels. So we have minus 3c squared plus 3a squared equals 0. And after putting one thing on the left-hand side, the second one on the right-hand side, we get that Either a equals c or uh, c equals minus a. And let's investigate both of these possibilities. So first case, case number one. Case number one is when c equals a. Notice that then, now it's time to use the second equation which says that c squared plus 4ca plus a squared should be equal minus 2. So c squared plus 4ca plus a squared equals minus 2. And now let's put, instead of c, we'll put a. So we have a squared plus 4a squared plus a squared equals minus 2. So after division by 2, we'll get 3a squared equals minus 1. And recall that we are solving our system in the real numbers, so this has no real solutions. You may wish to 
uh, go further, if you wish to consider complex numbers, then we will, you will get two solutions and you can work uh, everything from there. But since I am interested only in the real case, I will pass to the second case. Case number two is when c equals minus a. Notice that then, if c equals minus a, then the very same equation can be now written in a different way. We have a squared minus 4a squared plus a squared equals minus 2. And after simplification, it turns out that a squared equals 1. So we have two possibilities. Either a equals minus 1. What about b and c? Well, c is minus a. So if a equals minus 1, then c equals 1. And what about b? Well, recall that b equals minus a minus c. So it's minus 1 plus 1, 0. Or the second possibility, a, b, c is 1, 0, minus 1. But since we have been adding our equations together and subtracting them, to be completely sure, let's do verification in the end. So let's do verification. Verification. So let's evaluate uh, b squared plus 4bc. Uh, four plus c squared, what is it? Well, b is zero, so it's c squared. In both cases, c squared is one. c squared plus four c a plus a squared. Well, c squared is one, plus four c a. Notice that in both cases, minus one times one, or one times minus one is minus one. So we have plus four minus one plus one, it is minus 2, and finally c squared plus 4, or rather a squared plus 4ab plus b squared. Well, b is 0, a squared is 1, so it all checks out. So uh, we have exactly two triples of solutions, real solutions. And that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.